Hello friends, this video on life part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next is the eye lens. Now needless to say how important the eye lens is due to the presence of eye lens, the process of uh, reflection actually happens. So what happens here is this is nothing but a transparent crystalline structure. Now the focal length of the eye lens decides the where exactly the image will be formed. Now where the image has to form that is the image distance is fixed because the image has to form on the retina. Correct? Now the object is distance keeps varying. Now to make sure that the image always forms on the retina, what has to alter? The focal length of the lens has to alter and that is why this length, the, this uh, lens is adjustable lens. So the focal length can be increased or decreased. So this, this lens can be made thicker or thinner or whatever. So the focal length can be changed. And it produces a real and inverted image. But do we see real and inverted image? No, because brain also plays a role there. But the image which is initially formed on the retina that is real and inverted. And how is this lens sit located in one place? Who decides or who controls the location of the lens that is controlled by the ligaments which are attached to the ciliary body. So if you see the lens is attached to ciliary muscles on both sides. So these actually help to keep the lens in one position. Now also since they are muscular, they are muscles. So the muscles can contract, expand, the muscles can cause movement. So these muscles can help to adjust the focal length of the lens. They can increase the focal length, they can decrease the focal length. Now in case you are not aware of what is focal length, you can uh, refer detailed videos on spherical uh, mirrors and lenses which have been taught in class 10. So you can refer those videos and then you can get an idea about focal length, real and inverted image and all these basics. So as I said, the next important part is ciliary muscles because they, they basically control the curvature of the lens. So whether the lens is going to be thinner or it is going to be thicker, that is all going to be determined by the ciliary muscles. Then comes the next fluid structure which is called vitreous humor. So this entire space if you see that is filled with this fluid structure. Now why do we need so much of fluid? Now this fluid is not more of water. It is more jelly like so it has less water content. But it fills this entire space and thus it helps to maintain the spherical shape of the eye. Now it is like you have a balloon. Now you fill the balloon with water. So what, is, what does the water do? Water helps to maintain the shape of the balloon. Now when you take the water out, what happens? The balloon deflates. It is just a small piece on your hand. Now again when you inflate it by putting air inside the balloon. Again the air inside helps to maintain the shape of the balloon. Similarly here also this jelly like fluid it helps to maintain the spherical shape of eye. So the entire space between the lens and the retina which is a huge space that entire space is filled with this fluid that is called vitreous humor. Next is the most important part of the eye which is responsible where the image is formed that is retina. So it is a light sensitive screen on which image is formed. So basically this layer it is sensitive to light so that means retina has cells which can sense light which can receive light. So they contain and these light sensitive cells are called rods and cones. So these rods and cones they are able to uh, feel the presence of light and they convert them into electrical signals. And these electrical signals are then transported to the brain through the optic nerves. So that's how retina functions. Now we will talk a little bit more about rods and cones of retina to understand more about the functioning of the retina. But for now you should remember that image is always formed on retina and retina has cells which can actually receive light and that's how they help in formation of image. Then comes the optic nerves. Their job is just to connect the eye with the brain. So they send the electrical signals which are produced by the cells present on retina and then they send it to the brain. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience.
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.